Hello everyone. Okay, let's provide a solution to this problem. We have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equals 24. Okay, now to solve this problem, by the way, if you have not subscribed to my channel, subscribe so you can get more interesting videos like this. Okay, 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x is equal to 2 of 4 to the power of x. I believe you understand that. So now this is equal to 24. Right? Okay, if you do not understand what I've done here, please take a look at this. From here we have 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x. These are two different terms. And both of them have 4 to the power of x in common. So we can factorize it out. Here now we're going to have 1, then plus here again 4 to the power of x divided by 4 to the power of x is equal to 1. And this is equal to 24. Now we pick 4 to the power of x as the common factor. 1 plus 1 is 2. And this is equal to 24. So mind you, from here, it doesn't matter if you write this first. Okay, like what I did before, it was 2 into 4 to the power of x equals 24. So this and this are the same thing. They are, they are the same thing, right? So let's divide this by this, divide by this, so that this can go. And then we now have 4 to the power of x equals 24 divided by 2, and that is 12. Okay, if you love the method I've applied, and you love my skills, subscribe to my channel, and um, get more of my videos. Now, we cannot express 12 in this form, because 12 is only 4 multiplied by 3. Remember, here we have 4 to the power of x. Now, this is what we have, right? So, it is better now that we take the log of both sides, and that will be log of 4 to the power of x that is equal to log of 4 times 3. Okay? And remember that if you have log log x, y, okay, let me use different letters. Let's say log a, b. This is the same thing as log a times b, if you like, get this in bracket. So this will be equal to log a plus log of b. So we're going to apply the same thing to this. So that if we do that, we shall have log 4 to the power of x on the left. Now equal to log 4 plus log of 3. If you're still following, that means you're enjoying. So subscribe, right? Thank you. Now, the next thing is how do we eliminate this log 4? Remember, if this x continues to be a power or continues to be the power, we cannot get its value. So this has to come behind and it's one of the laws. So we now have log x multiplying log 4 and it's equal to log 4 plus log 3. Now, what do we do? Divide both sides by log 4 so that x will be free. All of this will be divided by log 4. Now, this log 4 cannot cancel this out yet because this particular one belongs to the two numerators. So, this can take this away and x will now be equal to log 4 over log 4 log 4 over log 4 plus this will be log 3 over log 4 as well. So, if we want to continue with this now, log 4 divided by log 4 is 1. So, we have x to be 1 plus log 3 divided by log of 4. Let's continue. Okay, so this is what we have. Now, we can apply change of base. Change of base would, you know, affect only this one. Because as it is now, log 3 is to base 10 and log 4 is also to base 10. So we can now say that x is equal to 1 plus, if you change the base, 
4 here will become the base to, to the 3 here. So we have log 3 to the base of 4. Now we have the value of x. If you want to have yours in decimal form, you can press log 3 to base 4. Or better still, enter log 3 over log of 4. Okay, so now let's verify like we always do verification stage verification stage right now mind you that the equation given to us is still 4x 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equals 24 so if we put in x as 1 plus log 3 to base 4 the question is do you think do you think we are going to have 24 on the other side? That's the task ahead of us. So we have 4 now to the power of 1 plus log 3 to the base of 4. Remember this in bracket is the power. Plus we have the same 4 to the power of 1 plus log 3 to the base of 4. Now what do I do? We are going to apply another law again. Um, another law, law of indices, right? Um, okay, let me turn this to B. Imagine we have B to the power of um, C plus D. Let me have this in bracket. B to the power of C plus D. This is the same thing as B to the power of C multiplied by B to the power of D. If you pick one of the bases, you're going to have B, then add the powers. So if that is the case, we can now write this in this form. So we now have um, 4 to the power of 1 multiplied by the same 4 to the power of log 3 to base 4. Remember that if you pick one of the bases, you're adding the powers. So we have plus, let me separate it, plus 4 again to the power of 1 multiplied by 4 to the power of log 3 to the base of 4. This is what we have again. Now, to continue from here, 4 to the power of 1 is 4. Then multiply by 4 to the power of log 3 to base 4. Because this is to base 4 and 4 is here, they will cancel. So we multiply by 3. Then plus the same thing happens there as we have 4 multiply by 3. Remember, this is multiplication, right? Now, 4 times 3 is giving 12. Then... 4 times 3 again, we have 12. And 12 plus 12 will definitely give us 24. And what did we have on the right-hand side of the equation? 4 to the power of x plus 4 to the power of x equals 24. So this means that we are very correct as we say x is 1 plus log 3 to the base of 4. If you love this, subscribe to my channel and get more of my videos. Always share to the people that you feel will need this. Thank you.